after a powerful break shook the sea build on Monday morning. Do I have to go to school? Hmm. If you don't go to school, you're not going to graduate. If you don't graduate, you're not going to be able to fly a spaceship and discover the universe. I already know all about the universe. <laughs> so I guess we can cancel that trip to the planetarium on Saturday, huh? No way! <laughs> Daddy's not going to work today, so he told me I didn't have to go to school. Did he? Should we ask him? Ask me what? It's okay. We don't have to. Daddy's not going to work today because he's got jury duty. And he's coming home right after his day off so we can get this house finished. First of all, I don't think we're ever going to get this house finished. And second of all, I wouldn't call jury Sorry. duty the day off. Mm, no coffee. Huh. Thanks. You know, my mom's friend was on a jury. Hello? Four whole months she had to listen to that trial. It took them like six minutes to find the guy guilty, and he only served a year. Let's play tennis. Sometimes I wonder if she's working for us or if it's the other way around. It's a phase she's going through. She's good, and besides, Daisy's crazy about her. Yeah. You'll be back early so we can pick the drapes, right? Oh, yesterday the tiles, today the drapes? The sooner we make decisions, the sooner it's done. Besides, you're the one whining about it. Whining about it? I don't whine. Oh, no, I'm a wasp. That's genetically impossible. Okay. We sue. Bye. Hey, you two. Public displays of affection are illegal in Boston. Morning, Walt. Bye. 
morning, buddy. Good morning, boss. What the hell's this? It's 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 the new me. Relax. Hey! Son of a I'm glad to see it's working. I got a new idea for the Packard account. Great, we could use one. It's a little crazy, but it's simple. Give it a shot. The product is stomach antacid, right? Packard's been losing market share to a couple of the bigger brands whose campaigns are pretty straight-laced. Right. So let's take it in another direction. What do you get when you break antacid into two? You get antacid. That's acid made by ants. And not just ordinary ants, but lovable, caring, Smiling, animated ants. I think you got something. <laughs> so we gotta move on this thing. Can you come back to the office after this jury duty thing? Ooh, I don't know. I told Laura I'd be home right after. Tell her jury duty went late. A little white lie never hurt anyone? Yeah, I'm sure Danielle appreciates that. Have you ever been convicted of a crime, Mrs. Radcliffe? Oh, my heavens, no. Um, would you have a problem sending someone to prison for life? Not if they were guilty. Mr. Maddox, good morning. Good morning. Let me ask you, are you acquainted with the defendant, Mr. Tyler? No. Have you or any of your family members ever been a victim of a violent crime? No, sir. Do you have any prior knowledge of this case? No, I don't. How you doing? Fine. Hi. Hi, Mr. Maddox. Hey, buddy. Hey, how'd it go? <laughs> I got selected. Lucky you. Hey, how'd everybody like my idea? <laughs> they loved it. Yeah? Zaleski flipped. Peterson went apeshit. Great. You know Peterson, he goes apeshit about anything. Olivia and the other guys down in Creative are talking animation house. They should have a few versions for us tomorrow morning. I already faxed Dubois. He's home after dental surgery. Excellent. And what about you? Me? I'm flying. Not a boy. <laughs> I think it's time for all little mice and good little girls to go to bed. Tuck you in. <laughs> Have sweet dreams, okay? okay? I love you. In Ezra Tyler's mind, if he couldn't have his wife, no one would. So when he found out that his wife had looked elsewhere to find love, Mr. Tyler hatched his plan. He would make her pay the highest price there is for her infidelity, her life. So he killed her. Stabbed her, actually. Again and again. And as a token of her infidelity, Ezra Tyler sliced off her ring finger. Ladies and gentlemen, all murder is brutal. But this one is particularly vicious. The prosecution will show that the circumstances leading up to Mrs. Tyler's death and those of the murder itself will leave you with only one possible verdict. Guilty of murder in the first degree. Circumstances. My learned counsel has unwittingly chosen the correct word to describe his case. A case with 
no facts, no real motive, and no murder weapon. A case built purely on circumstantial evidence. Ladies and gentlemen, there was a murder, a terrible thing, and there was a murderer. That we know for sure. But it was not the defendant, Ezra Tyler. So, Detective DeLeon, you were the lead investigating officer on this case, correct? Yes, sir. How did you first learn of the case? We received a call from one of the other tenants who heard um, a muffled scream and the sound of glass breaking. Mm -hmm. Had there been any other evidence of spousal abuse? Objection! I'll withdraw the question, Your Honor. On other occasions, did this neighbor hear anything unusual coming from the Tyler's apartment? Yes. Loud voices, um, arguments, uh, that sort of thing. Would you take a look at these photos, please? Can you confirm to the court that these are indeed photos from the crime scene? Yes, sir. And with regards to photos four, five, and six, that those are of the victim? Yes, those are photos of um, Mrs. Justine Tyler, the deceased. Please mark these exhibits four, five, and six for the prosecution. So, Detective, could you please describe the crime scene when you first arrived? It was one of the worst I've seen. It was a very violent murder. There was blood everywhere. The place was a wreck. It was obvious that there had been a struggle. Our recess. I threw up in the courthouse bathroom. I was slumped against the wall for an hour. <laughs> you slept with her. The babe at our gym. Two more beers, please. I didn't even know just his last name until I saw the pictures in court. <laughs> you slept with the trainer at our gym. You of all people. How did you do it? Did you come on to her? Oh, she's dead. Okay, you know I didn't come on to her. She asked me out for a drink. Some drink. I suppose Laura never found out. What kind of question is that? Oh, man. You got lucky. It's not so lucky for her, though. I mean, for me, it was. It was a one-time thing. You know, I admit it was a mistake. But she just kept calling me. Calling me. I told her, look, it's over, but she kept calling. And one day she didn't call anymore. I never heard from her again. What are you gonna do? When did you first learn of this? Not soon enough, Your Honor. This is obviously a serious discovery violation. Wait a damn minute. Settle you down. Go, both of you. Jim? The DA's office conveniently misplaced the results of the blood test done on this handkerchief. Results which, I might add, show the presence of someone else's blood at the scene. What else have you got, Jim? The DA has nothing. The very fact that there's evidence someone else was there is grounds for immediate dismissal. Noted. I'm 
waiting for your response. Well, I don't have to tell you how overworked my office is. Overworked or not, you had an obligation to make this known to the defense in a timely fashion. It is obviously exculpatory evidence in favor of the defendant. Would that explain why the results went missing? I gotta tell you, Jim. Murder one is a long reach here. As sloppy as this is, I'm convinced that there's no evidence of misconduct on the part of your office. But as to the relative merits of this case... Feeling better? Oh. Yes, thank you. Excuse me. How are you doing today? Uh, fine. Can I speak to you for a second? Sure. Can you quit the jury? Unless you're ill, or there's some other good reason why you can't be impartial, no. There are very strict rules about that sort of thing. Well, even if I, even if I knew the victim. John? Are you saying you did? Well, I ju just John. Wanted... The Commonwealth of Massachusetts versus Ezra Tyler is hereby dismissed. The court wishes to thank the jury. This court is now adjourned. the way he was staring at me, you know? It's like he was looking right through me. Come on, Mac. There's no way the guy knows you had a thing once with his wife. No way. I wish I could be sure about that. There's nothing to tie you to her. Is there? No. I mean, I don't think so. Even if there was, what, what, is, what is he gonna do? What, is he gonna come after you? Get thrown back in jail? Right. Look, it's that guilt thing all guys have. Keeps us on the straight and narrow. Right. You're probably right. <laughs> what do you got? All right. Hello, Jimmy. I thought you were... Uh... No, I'm out. And I'd like our old apartment back, please. You're kidding. The place has been rented for months now. I understand, but I'm back now, and I'd like to live there again. It's where all my good memories are. Yeah. Well, you know me, I'd love to help, but uh, the units rented you. Weren't paying your rent anymore. I was in jail, waiting for my trial. Yeah, I know, but the place couldn't sit empty while no one was paying, right? Do you know how much it costs us to clean out the place after what happened? I understand, but I want my apartment back. Yeah, yeah, I'll let you know if it comes up again. I thought I want my damn apartment. Yeah, I'm gonna call the cops. Let me go. Let me go. There's some men I don't know where to reach out. The caliber to live in this apartment building. It's a wonder they ever put any criminals away, considering the incompetence of the police. I have a confession to make. You could. I haven't seen you squirm in a long time. <laughs> I'm sorry, but with the Packard account and, well, with jury duty, I just haven't had a chance to get you an anniversary gift. I forgive you. Actually, I'm glad. Really? Yes. I know exactly what I want. Something special and unique. Well, whatever it is, it's yours. Great. 
I want us to have another baby. Well. Well, the house is practically done. We always said we'd have another, and I don't want Daisy to get too old. No, I know, it's just... Now? I'm not sure now's a good time. Why not? Well, I guess we could give it a shot. It's always fun trying, isn't it? <laughs> to us. To eight wonderful years. And hopefully 80 more. And to forgive us. What's wrong? I thought I saw somebody. Who? It's probably nothing. I've never seen you spooked before. It's exciting. Where to, folks? 1510 Commonwealth and hurry up. Jojo, we're home. Hi. Oh, honey, did you take out the trash? Uh, I'll do it right now. Thanks. Oh, hold on. I guess we won't be needing these. A little too much caffeine? Don't sneak up on me like that. Sneak up? I live here too, remember? So how was the big dinner? Oh, yeah. It was fun, I guess. Aren't you coming? working. What? Last night. I can feel it. <laughs> Years of devoted practice. <laughs> you know, another baby and this house will be perfect. Oh, my God. Mac? What's the matter? Are you okay? Didn't you tie up the bag? Of course I tied up the bag. Somebody else must have done this. Oh, it's disgusting. I'll ask one of the workers to clean no, it no, up. No, no, don't, don't worry about it. I'll clean it up. Okay, thanks. I'm off.
Why would Tyler dump garbage on your front doorstep? I was on the jury. So, the case was dismissed. He also showed up at my office. You sure it was him? Of course I'm sure it was him. Look, he's following me and he needs to be stopped. What did you say your occupation was, Mr. Maddox? I'm in advertising. I'm a creative director. A creative director? I see. You see what? You think I'm making this up? I didn't say that. I'm gonna let you in on something. We're still working on the Tyler case. Odds are he'll be recharged with his wife's murder. Why would he care about you? I don't know. Well then, what would you like us to do? I don't know. Look, I I'd like you to bring him in here and charge him with something. Mr. Maddox, we're homicide detectives. Until there's a homicide, there's nothing we could do. Okay, fine. Fine. After I'm murdered, I'll have my secretary give you a call, okay? Murder? What reason would he have to do that, Mr. Maddox? He killed his wife. How do you know? It's a feeling that I have. A feeling? Yes, a feeling. Quite like the one I'm having now. I'm terribly sorry if I disturbed you, gentlemen. Thank you. Mr. Maddox, so far as I can see, you've done nothing wrong. So you got nothing to worry about. It's just your, uh, creative side, working overtime. Thank you. It's probably nothing. Yeah. Nothing. But he is worried. Go ahead. Is this the first time you cheated on your wife? So, for this trial run, uh, we've prepared three campaigns, uh, six boards per spot. Uh, we've got uh, slides with the artwork to match, uh, various foods. Let me see the slides. Uh, Mac, Mac, Max got them. But it's, it's, it's going to be a hot campaign. Um, uh, aimed at our target demographic group. Uh, we'll have CGI animation. Uh, oh, let me show you what I... Um... Don't tell me, Mac has that too. I'll take your coat. How late am I? Very. Oh, great. Do you think Mr. Maddox might actually join us at some point? I know. I know, I know. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm very sorry, sir. Mr. Rosenblum is doing fine without you. Let's see those graphics. You are gonna love this. I didn't want a pointed corner there. Well, that's the way it reads, Mrs. Maddox. Well, that's not the way I want it. I have a child in this house. There it goes. Okay. And I can't have these tools just lying around, especially that thing. Good point. Excuse me. And these just arrived. Thank you. They're from my husband. Yesterday was our anniversary. Congratulations. Thank you.
Yeah. Hi, it's me. Hey. So, who's Justine? Excuse me? You got flowers from her. The card said, thanks for everything. Oh, she was just a client? Yeah, we did a, we did a pro bono favor for her. So she sends you roses? What kind of favor did you do? Uh, designed some invitations. That's all, no big deal. Mm, well, they're pretty. But in the future, tell her your wife prefers orchids. Oh, um, sweetheart, Walt just walked in. I gotta get back to work. Okay, I love you. I love you. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh, my God. You all right? No, no, I'm not, I'm not all right. What's the matter? Tyler was here, and he just sent some flowers to my house with a card that read from Justine. Jesus, did you call the police? No, they won't do anything unless he does. Is this guy dangerous? He killed his wife. What kind of question is that? I swear to God, if I'd have known this was gonna happen, I would have never... I know somebody who can help you. Who? Oh. His name's Ray Wolfson. Used to be a cop in Philly. Now he only does private jobs. What are you doing with his number? It, it, for a friend of mine who thought his wife was cheating on him. Turns out she was just taking a macrame course. Anyway, listen, take it. I don't know. Look, to the cops, you're just one guy in a thousand with a problem. To Ray Wolfson, you're his only one. Call him. Is it good? Mm -hmm. I'm going out. The professor? No, the drummer. Oh. Mm. Um, Jojo, can can you take the little one to the planetarium on Saturday? Because I, I got to go to the office. And Laura, you got to meet that designer, I think, right? Yeah. Please, Jojo, please. How am I going to say no to that? Sure. Thank you, Jojo. Thank you, Jojo. Thank you. Bye. Daddy, where's Justine? What? A man asked me to ask you where she was. Who asked you? He called on the telephone. What did he say exactly? Hello, I'm a friend of your daddy's. When you and your daddy are alone, ask him where Justine is. And I said, okay, and then I hung up. Did you ask mommy about this? Am I supposed to? No, no. Uh, you, you know, Justine was, was a friend of mine. Uh, if this man calls back, I just want you to hang up. Okay? Just, just hang up. You understand me? Yes, Daddy. Okay. Can I have another egg roll? Hmm? Another egg roll? Oh, absolutely. <clears throat> there you go. What's the matter? You got a headache? I'm just under a lot of pressure right now at the office. That's funny. It's never stopped you before. There's something else Mac tell me. It's nothing. I'm just tired. Can I be tired? It used to me, we tell each other everything. Everything's fine. Ray Wolfson, come on, walk with me. You help me? Depends on what you want. I want Ezra Tyler Warren to leave me and my family alone. Some money. It's an article on Tyler in there. Killed his wife. Is that a fact? You think you can do this? Yeah, I can do it. I also want a gun. 
Having a gun's one thing. Knowing how to use it's something else. You reckon you're up to that? If I have to protect my family, I am. Look, uh, just have it sent to my office discreetly. Put my cell phone number in there. I got it. How long is this gonna take? Not long. You gonna fly that all the way to the moon? You a teacher? Yes, yes, I am. I'm brand new to the school. My name's Mr. Tanner. Oh, hey, that's a pretty cool rocket ship you got there. Can I see it? Thanks. I'm gonna be an astronaut and go to a really big space station, way far in the sky. Wow, that sounds exciting. I just happen to know where there's some real moon rock nearby. You want to go see it? Um, I'm not supposed to go with strangers. Oh, no, no, it's OK, honey. I'm a teacher. Hey, isn't your name Daisy? Daisy Maddox? <laughs> That's a nice name. There's no moon rock here. It's on the moon, silly. Oh, no, no, that's not true. No, sometimes it falls down to the Earth. Come on, let me show you. Huh? Oh, we'll be right back, I promise. Sorry, Mr. Tanner. What's your favorite color now? Purple. Purple? Do you know how to make purple? Blue. That's right. I'm gonna make red. So how was school today? I almost saw this moon rock. There was this man outside and... Man? What man? You know what we told you about talking to strangers. I told you I don't want you talking to anybody. Do you understand that? But he was a teacher. Matt. Uh, I'll get it. Just stay here. I'll... What are you doing? Hey, I said don't move. Who are you expecting? Charles Manson? It's Walton Danielle. <laughs> hey, you're Hi. in the neighborhood. Come on in. We're not disturbing you, but we wanted to see the palace. Oh, it's still a work in progress, you know. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Hi. Coming to show me your new kitchen? Great. You make me all kinds of cookies. Be baking. <laughs> Take off your coats. That's where the grill will be, and we're getting this big oven from Italy, which will go right over there. Yeah, and we're gonna make pizza every night. <gasps> Mamma mia! Um, we're gonna have cigars in the other room. Miss the tour? Uh, I'm afraid so. Sweetie, why don't you go and get that really nice drawing of that rainbow to show Danielle? Okay. <laughs> Has Walt been acting strange? Only since I married him. Why? What's up? Max has been tense, distracted, and uh, lately we haven't been, you know. Oh, I see. Oh, it's that new account they're both wired about. It'll pass. <laughs> so where were we? Is it each chose? Oh, or there you go. Look <gasps> at that. I mean, I, maybe I'm losing it, but I, I can't find Laura. I'll give her some credit. She's a forgiving person. Oh, no, she's not going to forgive this. Am I losing her sales ability back? Look, I wish it was that easy. I swear to God, I wish I served on that jury because I would have put his ass away for life. What about Wolfson? He's taking care of business. So what are you worried about? My family.
Wilson, leave a number, and I'll call you back. This is Mac Maddox. Could you give me a call tomorrow, please? Thank you. Mr. Tyler. Why are you following me? Why don't you tell me? Well, why don't you tell me who the hell you are first? Walk with me. Let's just say I'm somebody who cares. Cares? Cares about what? The one thing I really care about you leave the Maddox family alone. Do you get it? Is that perfectly clear? Your hotshot clan killed my wife. Is that so? Well, I don't think so, Mr. Tyler. I think the blood of your wife is on your hands. Oh, yeah, well, why don't you check him out? You might not like what you see. Yeah, well, what I see is scum. <coughs> Get out of my sight. And if I catch you around the Maddox house, or anyone who lives in it, I won't be so loving next time. Make no mistake, Mr. Tyler. This is me at peace. You don't even want to disturb my equilibrium. Do you understand me? Get out of my face. from the sun, and the closest one to Earth. Yeah, um, could we speed it up a little, kiddo? I gotta pee. And that's Pluto. And look, that's Jupiter. It's the biggest planet. Where'd you learn all this? CD-ROM. Uh, um, how about a bathroom break? Don't you have to go? Those stars must be the Big Dipper. Actually, that's Orion, the hunter. And there's his belt. Well, how's the future astronaut doing today? Do you know each other? Oh, uh, yes, I, I'm sorry. My name's Eric Tanner. I'm one of the substitute teachers at Daisy's school. Daisy was uh, oh. showing me her rocket ship yesterday. Isn't that right? Yeah. <laughs> now, you uh, look awfully young to be Daisy's mother. Oh, no, no, I'm the cousin and the nanny. It's a job until I start school in the fall. Yeah, it's an important job. At uh, what school? Boston College. Oh, well, that's where I went. Good choice. I want to look at the asteroids again. Okay, but first the bathroom. But I don't have to go. Yes, you do. Um, aren't the asteroids just right over there? I, I'd be happy to wait there with her. Are you okay with that? <laughs> sure. Okay, all right, I'll be there, okay? Two minutes, okay, right over there. Thank you. Sure. Shall we? She had brown hair, she was with a no. Da Daisy! Daisy! Da excuse me, have you seen a little girl? Sorry. She was with a Daisy! Daisy, please! Jojo? Where did you go? 
Where were you? We were right here. I looked all over for you. Don't ever do that. Really, really, it's my fault. I'm, I'm sorry. We just kind of wandered this way. And I mean, we should have stayed back the asteroids like we agreed. You scared the you-know-what out of me. Oh, listen, I'm really sorry. No, it's just, you know, there's a lot of responsibility looking after a kid. Yeah, I know. Try looking after 20 of them. <laughs> That's right, I guess you know. Again, I apologize. It was stupid. No, it's okay. I just, I panicked a little. Oh, look, I'll tell you what, let me make it up to you. Um, what do you say I show you around the BC campus sometime? They got a great pub there. Oh, and anyway, it's not like we don't have anything in common. Well, maybe. Sometime. Okay, sometime. <laughs> well, then I'll, I'll give you a call. Won't you need my number? Yes, <laughs> that would help. 555-3493. I'll be in touch. You're not going to write it down? Good memory. And you're going to remember our little secret, right? I will. Okay. Bye. We are going to create a very memorable spot, unique in every way. Using the latest in CGI technology, we're going to create a new and exciting way of looking at an old product. What do you think, Mac? Mac? Mr. Maddox, this was in the mailroom. I guess it came by messenger yesterday. Here you go. Thank you. Sorry. Don't you think a gun is a bit much? I mean, he hasn't exactly come after you. You're my friend. This is just a precautionary measure. Just forget you even saw it. I've got a non-fat decaf latte with artificial sweetener. I'm drinking nothing. <laughs> is it any good? No, it's no good. It's not healthy, but it's not fattening. I may die young, but at least I'll be thin. Go young, leave a good-looking corpse. That's my motto. <laughs> I finished off a pint of ice cream last night. <sighs> you still think something's going on? I've just never seen him like this before, you know? It's like he just turned off. You don't think he's having an affair? No, not Mac. He wouldn't. He wouldn't. Sorry, I don't even know why I said that. He didn't put the idea in my head. I've thought of everything. An affair, drugs. Maybe you need to stop thinking. I have just the thing for you. Two words, massage. <laughs> I can't leave the house while the workmen are there. That's the best part. He comes to you whenever you want. I don't know. I do. I'm sending him over. His name is Bruce. Bruce the masseuse. When are you free? Good question. We have to eat. You do take lunch. Say no more. Tuesday lunch. I'm paying for the massage and the tip. All you have to do is lie down, close your eyes, relax. Okay? Okay. I'm going some shopping. Okay. Kidding, ice cream is never out of season. It's therapeutic, good for the soul. <laughs> well, Tuesday, big day. Mm. Make it Isn't that right, Mac? Mac? What are you doing? 
I'm sorry. I, I thought you were someone else. It's all right. Sorry. He's, he's on medication. What was that about? Oh, what's going on? Time to go. Come on. Let's go. If you're being followed, I want to know why. That's what the police are trying to figure out. Are you sure you're not letting your imagination get out of hand? It's not my imagination. Oh my God, where did you get that? I got it, that's all you need to know. Why are you treating me like an idiot? Mac, what the hell's going on? I have a right to know. If you won't tell me, how can I help? It's for protection. And we'll let anything happen to us. Something's already happening to us, Mac. Mr. Maddox, there's a Detective DeLeon here to see you. He says it's urgent. A detective? Uh, it's nothing. Nothing. Send him up. Good morning, Mr. Maddox. How long were you acquainted with Justine Tyler before her murder? Excuse me? Would pictures refresh your memory? That's okay. Now, did you know her or not? Yes, I knew her. How well? It was casual. I, I saw her a couple times. Um, all right. We had an affair. But it was over. I mean, it was over before it even started. Don't you think you had an obligation to inform the court? Well, I, I tried. I tried, but they threw the case out, and it, it didn't seem relevant then. This, um, affair, how long did it go on for? Just once. Unfortunately for Miss Tyler, uh, once was enough. What are you saying? That I, that I had something to do with the murder? It's a possibility, Mr. Maddox. But that's ridiculous. I mean, why, why would I want to kill Justine? When were you last in her apartment? Uh, I, I, I don't remember. Look, gentlemen, I'm very busy here right now. Do, do you mind? We're done. For now. <sighs> Looked like Mr. Maddox was having a nosebleed. I never got them, even as a kid. Me neither. I go through a lot of handkerchiefs, I suppose. So Maddox has a prior connection to Tyler's wife. Got anything else? A typewritten note. Mac Maddox is responsible for Justine Tyler's murder. Interesting choice of words. What do you mean? Well, he used the word responsible, not murdered or killed. It's um, ambiguous at best. So who wrote it? We're waiting for prints from the lab. If I reopen the case with Tyler, I've only got one bullet. That's all you need, right? We need a blood test on Maddox. I'm laying 10 to 1 odds the test will match the blood on the handkerchief found at the scene. Persian? Isfahan. 
Johan. Oh, even better. Coming. Hi. Hi, I'm Bruce. Uh, from Seventh Heaven Spa. Oh, isn't the appointment tomorrow? Uh, well, they told me today. I'm, I could come back if... You know what? I'll be just as crazy then, so come in. So, where does one do this sort of thing? Wherever you're comfortable. Oh, well, it doesn't exist. But upstairs is quieter. The master bedroom, is that okay? Fine. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, uh, Mrs. Maddox. Good news. The oven is on its way. Great, finally. You'll have to excuse the mess. Oh, I've seen worse. What next? Ah, uh, well, if you have a bath towel. Of course. I'll be right back. Okay. That's very kind of her. It's been a real long time for me. Well, you're in for a real treat. down? Uh, just lie face down. Have you been massaging Danielle? Um, uh, just a while. Hmm. 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 Hmm, that feels good. This wasn't such a bad idea after all.
is it? It's uh, Frank, Mrs. Maddox. I'm sorry to bother you, but there's a problem with the oven. I'll be right there. <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to cut this short. I can wait until you're done. Uh, I better not, but it felt great. Well, I get paid either way. It's tempting, but I can't. Thank you so much. You can find your way out. I'll get your number from Danielle. I'll call you to reschedule. That won't be necessary. Buddy Wolfson doesn't answer the phone. I've left like 10 messages. He's on the case. Don't worry about it. Would you stop saying don't worry about it? That doesn't help. And besides, the cops think I had something to do with Justine's murder. Maybe you should get a lawyer. I don't need a lawyer. I didn't do anything. All the more reason to get one. No, no, I'm gonna handle this one on my own. Mr. Maddox, this just came in on the facts for you. Is there anything else I can do to help? Uh, that'll be all. Thank you. It's from Wolfson. He wants to meet me. See? Probably took care of everything just like he said he would. I love you. I don't say that enough, you know. find Ray here. What do you want? What do I want? I want to meet the person responsible for my wife's death. I had nothing to do with Justine's murder. Oh, I think you had a lot to do with it, Mr. Maddox. <laughs> Quite a lot. Look, I'm sorry I'm about screwing it. my wife. It's up to me to remind you of that. I want you to stop harassing my family. Oh, we're gonna pass by harassing real quick. I have a gun. I'll use it if I have to. I don't think you will. After all, if you kill me, and everyone's going to know that you murdered Justine. You stay away from me. She didn't love you. She was gonna leave you. And that's why you killed her. Hey, aren't you supposed to be in bed? I have five minutes left. This won't fit. 
What is that? Where did you get this? It's a secret. There are no secrets between you and me. But I promised I wouldn't tell. It's okay if you tell me. Who's Justine? Daddy's friend. But it's mine! It's mine! Hey, what's going on? Daddy! Jojo? Yeah? Hmm? Jojo! Coming! Jojo. Would you put her to bed, please? Honey, what's the matter? What is this? First the flowers and then Justine's ring? No, it's, it's not what you think. You look at me in the eye and you tell me, are you having an affair with this Justine woman? Tell me, Mac. Damn you. It meant nothing to me. To you, maybe. I want you out of this house. Laura, Laura, wait, wait a second. You don't understand. This, this guy killed his wife. Okay, he's been following me. He's done all this. The garbage, the phone calls, the rain. I couldn't tell you, Laura. I couldn't tell you, please. God, I didn't want to worry you. You didn't want to worry me? Well, how goddamn thoughtful of you. Just get out. Just get out. Just get out! What the hell? Oh, Walt, this is getting out of hand. The cops want a blood sample now. You're not gonna like this. The good news is it doesn't mention your name. Yeah, but it says they have another suspect. Walker found him here this morning. Let's check him for ID. See if there's anything in this. Where do you think you're going? Uh, I have a package for Mrs. Maddox. Well, she's not available right now. Just leave it here. I'm supposed to deliver it to her personally. Don't give me a hard time, buddy. Just leave it here. I'll make sure she gets it. As you wish.
Honey. Honey, if you're there, could you pick up the phone, please? I, I, I really need to talk to you. Honey. Okay. I'm, I'm at the office. If you get a chance, could you call me? Call me back here, please. Malcolm Maddox? Uh, he's in a very important meeting. Get him out. I'm sorry, I can't do that. What this campaign will give Packard is immediate brand recognition. A strong, identifiable, positive product image. Mr. Maddox, can you come with us, please? What? What's going on? What's going on here? The uh, meeting is over, folks. What is this, Bob? Another one of your innovative ideas? Uh, excuse me for just a moment. You'd better come with us. Uh, you want to cover for me? What do you want to come by? Thanks, officer. If there's anything else, I'll call. Hi. Excuse me. Thanks. Laura, you look terrible. Are you all right? Oh, nothing to worry about. Hi, Grandma! Oh. Hi, Mrs. Maddox. <laughs> Hi. Oh. I hear we're going to have a sleepover, hmm? Can you take her out to the car and put the seatbelt on? I'll be out in a moment. Bye, Mommy. Bye, sweetie. Have fun. I will. Bye. You know you can come to me any time, don't you? I know. Thank you. I just need some time to sort things out. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. Seems you are connected to lots of people, Mr. Maddox. What are you talking about? Ray Wolfson. Where is he? Ray Wolfson's dead. Dead? How'd that happen? Why did Wolfson have your business card? Well, I, I, I hired him to, to follow Tyler, to warn him to leave my family alone. A thousand a day? That's a lot of money to pay a guy to follow someone. Look, I really wasn't worried about the money. Are you prone to nosebleeds? Sometimes. Look at me, Mr. Maddox. We have a blood type match on a handkerchief found at Miss Tyler's murder. Would it be yours? Look, Relax. I admit to having an affair with Miss Tyler, okay? But I, I swear. At this to point, God. we are investigating every lead. And right now, you are tied for first place. What? Am I under arrest? You, you can't keep me here. Look, next time you want to talk to me, you call my lawyer. You should be following Tyler. Are you okay? Do you need anything? I'm fine. Thanks. Okay, well, I'm gonna go out for a little while. Are you sure you're okay? I'm sure. Just lock up. Okay. Oh, 
Hi. <laughs> Campus tour is at your service. Wow, that was really fast. Um, I'm glad you called. Well, don't want to be late for someone as pretty as you. <laughs> okay, just let me get my coat, okay? Come in. Thanks. All set. Uh, I don't suppose I could use the restroom. Now it's my turn. Yeah, sure. Okay, down there, through that door, on your right. Maybe you could show me. Yeah, okay. Thanks. It's right through there. Oh, okay. Thanks. I'm on my way. I don't want to see you. Look, Laura, we need to talk. I've got nothing to say to you. Listen to me. Listen to me. Tyler is killed again. I, I think he's gone over the edge. Laura. Please, Mac, not now. Laura, wait. Laura. Jojo? Really, it's okay. I'm here for you now. What? You know who I am. And that ultimately it would come to this, don't you? Jojo? Jojo? You don't have to worry about Jojo, Laura. She won't bother us ever again. Where is she? What have you done to her? All I want is for us to be together. You and I. Your husband, Mac, he wants it too. Get away from me. I'll fire this, I will. I'm already dead. 
I'll do it. What you made me do? You see, your worthless husband took my Justine away from me. So it's only fair that I do the same to you. Hope you understand. In there. your cooperation in all of this. Laura, are you okay? Mom. You better just sit down and be quiet, Mac, while Laura and I take care of a few things. No! No! I'd love for us to be alone, Laura, but unfortunately I have no choice. No! Just like I suppose you had no choice with Justine, right, Mac? Mr. Maddox. Thank you. You're welcome. You're a little late. Excuse me. Jojo's gonna be all right. I'm really sorry, Laura.
looks like it's gonna snow all night. <laughs>